Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another video. So today's subject matter and a couple of other videos following, <laughs> I think I'm going to do like a three-part series, is warm-ups. I get this question a lot. What do you do for warm-ups? How do I get better? How do I get faster? More dexterity? On and on and on. Well, I used to practice scales all day and just, blah, 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 and, you know, just try to focus strictly on technique and getting faster and faster and faster. Now, as I've gotten older, that scale running doesn't appeal much or as much to me anymore. And what I want now is melody. So I'm going to break it into three parts. The first one is going to cover what I do for dexterity. The next two will be more how I use certain chord progressions and scale you know, sequences to help not only get my playing better, but to work on melody at the same time. So for the first video, I'm just gonna do some chromatic exercises. This is what I do every single day when I grab my guitar, I'll put on some you know, videos, check in with YouTube, all that kind of stuff, and do this while I'm doing it. And typically it's four different exercises. So let's go through them. The first one, and they're all chromatic exercises, I'm going to use all four fingers in every single one. So, as simple as it gets, just straight up and down the fretboard. Each finger has one fret, and we just go straight up and down. Make sure you get good contact with each note. They each ring out the same amount of time. You know, and for just practicing in the beginning, try to keep them all at the same volume level. And then as you get better and that becomes more familiar, then mess with dynamics, you know? So some like the third note make louder, the next one make the first note louder, because that's gonna be more true to what you're gonna be doing later. But for the beginning, just straight up and down. Once you get to the bottom, you shift up one fret and come back. So here we go. I'll go all the way up to the 12th fret when I do that. Now, I always advise practice stuff like this with a metronome. So, you know, maybe in over two clicks, you get one, two, click, three, four, click, you know, that sort of a thing with a metronome. Now, if you don't have one with you, well, there's no excuse anymore. Everybody's got a phone and everybody can get a metronome app. So I highly suggest it and recommend it. <laughs> Next one. You start off with the first finger and then you go back three. Shift up a fret, start with the pinky and then go this way. Okay, so again, first go to your fourth finger, three, two. So it's one, four, three, two. When you're coming this way, it goes four, one, two, three. Again, so on the way down. And then this way. Okay, so that's the second one. The third one I actually do two different ways. I do it on one string, and then after I do the one string version, I do the same exercise, but in groups of two strings. So the first one goes like this. It goes one, two, four, three. On the way back, it goes four, three, one, two. Okay, so again, one, two, four, three. And then backwards, four, three, one, two. Okay, now the reason I do this is because when I, you would typically run scales, 
they're usually two note per string or three note per string and oftentimes one finger you know gets neglected you don't use it as much or whatever so this way every single string you get every single finger because i think having dexterity in all your fingers is super important okay so the last one in a real world situation you're not typically going to be doing four notes per string so you want to be able to go back and forth between strings and so i'm going to use the same exercise we just did but over two strings so check this out the first one's going to go one two and then i go down to the next string and go four three one two come back up to the lower string and go four three again so you're going to start on the top string or the lower string play two notes jump down to the next string where you're going to do four notes and then you got to finish off the sequence on the lowest string so you come back to those so it goes shift up right so it's going to be four three go to the lower string okay and then you jump back down to the higher string and do that so you got now that's typically the dexterity portion of my practice routine the next two are much more musical much more melodic because i want to get the dexterity down and for fast runs and for lots of stuff that we do here on the channel dexterity is really important but if you want to progress as a music writer or a soloist or whatever melody is going to be key and you're going to be playing rhythm a bunch so i focus a lot of time on rhythm stuff and we'll get into that in the next lesson and then the one after that is more about soloing and melody so watch out for those two thank you thank you thank you for the support comment with any suggestions down below that you might have and always check below the video there's oftentimes links to videos that are not on youtube so if you want to check those out that would be awesome too you guys are amazing we'll catch you next time